An electric current is a passive charge flow. For example, if we connect a light bulb to a battery like this, there would be a current flowing in the circuit. We use I for current. This current goes counterclockwise because the passive terminal of the battery pumps positive charges out. But of course, in reality, we can only have negatively charged free electrons moving in a metal wire. So what we really have is negatively charged electrons moving the other way. However, when we study circuits, we usually look at the positive current flow instead of the real negative electron flow. The definition for electric current is the amount of charge flowing through a cross-section per unit time. So what is the unit for current? It's coulombs per second, and we give it a special name, amps or amperes. We use capital A for amps. So a 3 amps current means the 3 coulombs of charge flows past the cross-section of a wire every second. Coulombs may be a huge unit for static charge, but it's common to have a few coulombs of charge flowing through a wire every second. Now let's look at this wire that is connected to a battery. I have enlarged a section of the wire so we can take a good look at the inside. The left end of the wire is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, so it has a higher electric potential. The right end of the section is connected to the negative terminal of the battery, so it has a lower electric potential. Because there is a potential difference across this segment of the wire, so there must be an electric field inside this wire. In which direction do you think the electric field goes? The electric field must point to the right, because if we follow the field lines, the potential should get lower. And if this segment of the wire is uniform, then we would have uniform electric field in this. But wait, didn't we learn that the electric field inside a conductor is zero everywhere? Why do I draw electric field lines inside this metal wire? We learned that the electric field is zero everywhere inside a conductor in a static situation. But this is not a static situation. Charges are flowing, so there is no contradiction. Inside the metal wire, there are free electrons. Those negatively charged electrons in an electric field would experience electric force F equals to QE to the left, opposite to the direction of the electric field. So the free electrons would get pushed and the flow to the left. Do you think the free electrons flow through a wire at very fast speed or very low speed? Do you think this electric force, QE, would make the free electrons accelerate so the electrons would flow faster and faster as time goes on? Quite often, people get the impression that electrons must flow very fast in the wires, because when we flick a switch, the light can turn on almost instantly. However, the electrons actually flow very slowly, perhaps about uh, 1 mm a second in a normal household wire. And yes, the electric force QE does make the electrons accelerate but not for long, because inside the wire, it is crowded with lots of other electrons and nuclei. So the electrons are like this falling coffee filter. At first, it picks up speed, but shortly after, it reaches terminal velocity and travels at a constant terminal velocity for the rest of the journey. And I can compare this single filter with a stack of two filters. The stack of two filters would experience more gravitational force and therefore will reach a faster terminal velocity. So the stronger the electric field, the faster the speed the electrons reach for the same material wire. This speed is called the drift speed, V sub d. This one millimeter a second is a drift speed. But if electrons flow at such slow speed, how come a light can turn on almost instantly when we flick the switch on?
because there are already free electrons everywhere in the wire and in the filament of the bulb. We do not have to wait for the electrons to travel from the light switch to the bulb to have the light on. But how do the electrons in the filament know that it is time to flow? This signal that the switch had been flipped on travels at the speed of EM waves, so it's like speed of light, which indeed is very fast. The EM wave signal takes almost no time to go from the switch to the light bulb, and then the free electrons in the filament begin to flow and turn the light on. Another thing that is worth mentioning is that the free electrons do not just move along the wire at drift speed. They actually are like air molecules. They do random Brownian motion in the wire, colliding with other particles all the time with average speed in the order of 10 to the 6 meters per second. In an electric field to the right, the electrons will move like this with a net drift velocity to the left. And this net drift motion of the electron flow is the one that's translated into the positive electric current.